In a recently released paper, astronomers have mapped out an area very close to our Milky Way, which is devoid of any matter, no stars, no nebula, no galaxies. It is called the local void. Let's explore what might have caused this phenomenon. The local void was first discovered in 1987 by Brent Tully. Now he noted that although the Milky Way is surrounded by both galaxies and cosmic structures, our galaxy sits at the edge of a large empty region. Viewing this area of space is extremely difficult as it sits behind the center of our Milky Way from our point of view. Using the motion of 18,000 galaxies, they developed a map to show the boundary between where matter is present and where it is absent, and thereby outlining the local void. One of the reasons for astronomers to map this is to try and answer a mystery surrounding the expansion of space. While the rest of space is expanding at a certain rate, our local galaxies are not. They speculate that the Virgo cluster's gravitational tug might be the cause of this. And they also note that as space was expanding, so was the size of the local void. So what do we make of this in an electric universe? In a Big Bang universe, space should be homogeneous, the same in all directions. Yet our observations show more and more that it is not. Dark matter is required to explain this, yet how dark matter formed in this non-homogeneous way is never discussed, nor what exactly dark matter is. Hannes Alvin's view of a plasma universe was a non-homogeneous cell-like structure. From laboratory experiments, we know that plasma will readily separate itself from plasmas with a different charge through a double layer. The plasma clouds will tend to want to follow any pre-existing magnetic field, and any movement will cause them to start forming a filamentary structure, which over time will generate its own magnetic field. Now, these complex structures will form large Birkeland currents which are able to carry charges over vast distances force-free. And this allows the movement of material across huge distances. These filaments can act like huge ion pumps, drawing in any surrounding ionized material, and in the process, ionizing neutral material as well. Alvin saw that this could lead to a vast region of space, which would be largely devoid of matter. And this is exactly what we see in the local void. Galaxies only seem to form around these filamentary structures. Their material is garnered from the spaces in between, and as time goes by, more and more material is drawn into this filamentary structure. Now for me, there are two very important pieces of information that the EU and Plasma Universe can use. Firstly, the motion of these galaxies, which was documented in this study, is information that we should be using to map some of these large intergalactic filamentary structures. Secondly, the rate of expansion of this void may also tell us something about the amount of material that is being removed. Now, both of these points also lead to one very important conclusion. The intergalactic filaments are still active. We see galaxies moving and we see material being removed. These structures are not dormant. As always, be brave, be curious. The truth is waiting for us. Until next time.